to apply and for more information. Good morning, everybody. Right. Oh, sorry. Have I just not you flying? I picked up this lamp from a charity shop. Oh, must be ages ago. How disgusting. But it was 50p. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to have a go at painting it. It's only a little thing. And painting the shade and doing some clay on it. So... The, I think the best thing about it was the, the light bulb. It's probably a five pound light bulb that's in it. So I think if we take this under this one will come off. Right, so if we take that off. Take that bit up, I think. Give it a tape on. this up as well right I thought what I'd do is take it outside because it's quite smooth and I don't know I've never painted on a light shade before so I thought we'll take it outside give it a coat of this everywhere hopefully that'll give me a base for painting and playing but we can only we can only hope and see. Right, we'll take these outside. I'll take you with me. You will be a bit rocky, so you'll have to just bear with me a second. Right. Do we think we'll see, you'll see on there? You can see that, can't you? So I think we'll spray the shade first and see what happens. be enough just to give it that tack coat so we'll do this we go you can't say I never take you anywhere exciting can you <laughs> want to say hello Eleanor do you want to say hello no no I want to go in I want to go in don't you I know Right, so we've done that.
I'll give it that feels that feels really dry already that's not though obviously um what colour should we do should we have a bright colour or shall we be boring um we've got I'll be boring I think it's gonna be kept light if any of you shop in the if any of you are from the UK I go to B&Q quite a lot and I always go over to their paint mixing section and you often get a lot of samples which is plenty to do so much furniture and um, people have had them mixed up and then changed their mind so they've dumped them somewhere and they get reduced down to 50p and all I do is go and check and if it's a colour I think yeah that's not bad and this paint is really good I don't get any problem with chipping off or anything so you know another way to save a bit of money when when there's not a lot out there as such but I went the other day and I just took that one and I'm just getting now I don't know if I'll ever use any of them well I mean I, should, I might use that one today but this one was a pound I don't know why this one was a pound but that's like a, a pink that someone's had made up And they really do go a long way. Or even if you're doing lots of little items, I mean 50p. You, you can't get any better really. I very nearly painted some tables in this the other day. I think it's a, it's very strange, it's a very dark black blue. But you know, £2.50 and I've got four lots of paint. Which one did I say I was going to use? That one. Or should we do the pink? I suppose pink could be different, wouldn't it? That might make a nice colour. Yeah. We'll do pink. We'll be brave. Like I say, this feels quite smooth to the touch, so I think we might get away with that one. Give it a quick mix. And let's go. What brush should I use? Do we think? I'm just going to use a little, it's a BQ special, but they're nice and cheap. It don't matter if they get ruined as such. I sorted off with the flat brushes. Now I think all I ever seem to use is round brushes. I think it's quite a nice delicate kind of colour, isn't it? If you like pink. So that's that one with a coat. We'll see how this goes. Has anyone ever painted a lampshade before? I don't believe I have.
Oops. Just got to get my phone. Right then, I've picked up these are the redesigned with Prima ones, but I also pick up when I first started. You know, I was expecting that to be <laughs> the size of that. So you have to, you do have to look at sizes if you buy off eBay. Uh, same with this. Same with this little Daisy one, but they might be ideal. For these i got this one for the little birds but i've never used it this i got for you know the beading and i can never ever get these to work properly so we might have another go with that one today so i don't know what to do i thought i could use like the little leaf off here um i'm not sure what would you do I don't think I'll be using that. There's no way for that to go, really. And if I use roses, I don't want to be using daisies, do I? So, I might have a go with the bird, though, and pop a couple of birds on, we'll see. So it looks like it's the roses one. And while that's drying, I thought we could just make a couple up. Because that's nearly dry already. This is me taking great care of my items as usual. Right. I'm going to put in a little faithful talc in all of them because I'm not sure which ones I'm going to use. I think, I, I don't know if I want the big, the big roses in here or not. Or if I just want little dainty ones. Do, do we think I should go heavy on the base or light on the base and heavy on the top? Mm. It's only Eleanor, get over. Um, we'll start and see. Start with this big one and place that on and see what we like round it. Because the lamp's not big enough to take loads as such. Uh, it's just to have a play with this one, so I suppose we can pop up on as much as we like, really. I do want to try and keep this in one piece if possible. Nope. Not one row stayed in. Right. Thank you. 
I'm just going to use the same Gorilla Wood glue again to stick it. Like I said, I've not stuck on material before, so I, I don't know how it'll how it'll play out if I need more glue or less glue. Well, what was this supposed to be? Just on that. Let's just try a little bit, shall we? I think. Um, try this little donkey one. See what they look like. I have to say this was a a cheap one off eBay. I've not used it yet. I thought it was going to be bigger ones that I could use on my furniture until it arrived, and I thought, oh. Yeah. I hate little dinky ones. They make me great hands. Which feet have come out, yeah. I like that now. <laughs> right, let's carry on. Don't. Again, there's no rhyme or reason, but I will do a little bit of a branch just here. And use this little one. It's not going very well either. I think today's going to be one of them days that we shouldn't have bothered. Oh, that's not too bad.
Right, then it's all dry and everything now, so I'm just going to give it a paint. Um, I think I'm going to use just a, a little brush again, so that I can get into all the nuts and crannies. Um, and make sure all of it's covered. It all moves quite a lot. Not, you know, as a lampshade would. It all still functions properly, so I'm quite pleased with that. Nothing fell off. And it's all dried and is on firmly as I'd hope it to be if it was on furniture. So, yeah, I'm quite chuffed. So we'll just get this all painted up. Right then, welcome back. I'm just having to film this again. And now the gardeners have turned up next door, so it's going to be really loud. I'm really annoyed. I don't know what's happening. But I've just filmed doing this. I've waxed it all, all the way round. And I've just gone to save it, and there's nothing there again. So, it might be easier if I keep you still and twist the... I do apologise about the noise, but I'd filmed it before they got here. And I've just gone into all the little nuts and crannies. And when you think that this was all lime green before, and I think that this is absolutely stunning now. So, I think I may have... I'm going to have that one, that bit is my front, I think. I think I like the details on that, but I shall go because it's far too loud. I uh, hope you liked the video. If you did, please like, subscribe and comment below and do take care. See you again. Bye.